everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to actually do a full face of NYBA makeup. At the same time, I'm going to talk about things that are worth your money and things that I feel like you can skip from the brand. A lot of the things I generally do like from NYBA, but there are a few things which you can honestly just skip from the brand. They aren't that good. So let's get into the video now. Also, if you are someone who's new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it here. I hope you like the vibe. I hope you like the content. If you end up liking the content, you can hit the subscribe button along with that, the notification bell as well. So let's get into the video now. So I just want to say that I don't have, uh, you know, the full collection from NYB. I do believe I have most of the things from the brand. So I will be going uh, through each and everything like primer, foundation, concealer and all of that. So first let's talk about the three primers that I have from NYB. One is the strobe cream, one is the dewy primer and one is the pro primer which is a color correcting primer now first of all the NYB strobe cream I feel like it's very similar to the MAC strobe cream obviously it's not same I said the word similar not same not a uh, exact dupe but it gives the same type of vibe where it does have micro shimmers in it and it's a little bit on the hydrating side uh, you can mix this with your foundation BB cream you can put this alone as well like a primer just to give you your skin that healthy looking glow so i feel like it's really really good for the price it's definitely definitely something that you guys can go ahead and buy today i didn't use it because i used the other two primers that i have right now with me so the primer that i have or i use today is the dewy one because i haven't used the dewy one in quite a while and i forgot how this worked so i used it and i do have to say it's a underwhelming primer it's not something that you guys need to go ahead and buy right now uh it's a gel based primer which means that it's very gel like and it does absorb into the skin really nicely but it's not quite dewy i feel like the illuminating the pro strobe cream primer gives you a little bit more dewiness a little bit more glow this one it neither hydrates my skin nor does it make it look dewy i feel like so i don't see the purpose of buying this primer i feel like you can totally skip it it does retail for 2.99 rupees which is not really you know that great when you see the quantity of the primer so i feel like if you go in just with your normal regular moisturizer it is going to do the job for you now coming to the pro primers i used to have the orange one and the yellow one the orange one i finished it up so i don't have it with me anymore i definitely need to repurchase that because that is an amazing primer if you have any sort of little bit of pigmentation and you don't want to go in with a BB cream, you don't want to use any sort of coverage makeup, you can totally use that and go out the door. You don't even need to have a you know, foundation for your makeup. I feel like when you use that primer, sometimes I'll just use the orange primer and just go out the door. I love it so much because it does cover up or it does actually just, I don't know, does something it doesn't have coverage also because it's not a foundation so it does something that kind of minimizes my pigmentation a little bit evens out my skin tone and it's really good so coming to the ny Bay pro primer the yellow one i like the yellow one it does brighten up my skin it does give me that little bit of that brightened up look so if you are into that sort of look you can totally use the yellow one and the orange variant is for evening out your skin tone so these primers are definitely 100% worth your money so now we are going to come into base makeup which is foundations or bb creams now first of all i did go in with the bb cream and the shade i used here is 03 actually the thing is when I got this BB cream, they did not have that many of shade range. Uh, when I got this BB cream, they only had three shades and 03 was the darkest one. Obviously, it's not for my skin tone. I know that 100%. Uh, but please don't go in the comments and say that I want to lighten my skin tone. I'm ashamed of my skin tone and all of that because that is not true at all i don't have the other shades because when i got it and my did not release the other shades you can go back to my first video where i used the bb cream i did say that you know this was the darkest shade that they had and at that point of time this was the darkest shade but now they do have 
I feel like I think so six shades I don't really know that well but yeah I think they do have six shades now but anyway yeah so I used the BB cream today because it was it was time for me to use this BB cream because I love this BB cream so much now first let's talk about the foundation so this is the NYB liquid foundation and it says dewy drops although I wouldn't say this is a dewy foundation because I feel like the coverage and the consistency of this foundation is very much um, I would say natural finish it's not too dewy it's not too matte it's somewhere right in between I feel like a lot and a variety of skin types can use this foundation because as I said, it's a really, really good foundation. It doesn't have a ton of coverage. It looks a very skin-like. It doesn't even look detectable on the skin. It's very undetectable whenever I use this foundation. The only problem that I have with this foundation is the packaging. The foundation that this has, it's actually a little bit of thicker consistency, although the foundation is not thick at all. It does have a little bit of the thicker consistency. So I would suggest and my bay to come up with a pump or something else when, uh, you know, using this foundation because it's so hard to take this foundation out of the bottle. So I really do not like the packaging at all, but the product is actually really good. Now let's come into the BB cream. The BB cream, I like to apply it with my fingers, just like a moisturizer. It does take a little bit of time because you are applying it with your fingers so it, it can tend to look a little patchy first when you apply this but when you blend it out really nicely it looks so good it's it, it's just going to give you very sheer amount of coverage it's mostly a, like a skin tint when you compare this with the mars bb cream which i absolutely love by the way mars has definitely good coverage for a bb cream this one i would say is more sheer it's more uh, like a tinted moisturizer, you know, moisturizer that just has a little bit of a tint, evens out your skin tone a little bit, gives you a little bit of that glow, dew, and that's it. So it's very, very, very natural on the skin and has sheer coverage. So the next thing we have here is the concealer. So this is the NYB liquid concealer. I don't know if NYB has other concealers, but this is the one that I have been using for quite some time. I love this concealer when I used it first. I still like it. I still like it. But when I used it first, I instantly fell in love with this concealer. I absolutely do like it a lot. Now, you know, as time goes on, this concealer is becoming a little bit on the thicker side. I do have to use another concealer with this concealer. It's a little bit thick. You know, the consistency is becoming a little bit on the thick side. I think because I think because it's, you know, I don't know it's I haven't used it that much but yeah I just feel like the consistency is becoming a little thick so I use my other dewy concealers to in order to you know uh, balance out the consistency of this concealer because then this looks beautiful I love the coverage of this concealer I love how natural it looks but I just don't like the consistency anymore I love the consistency when I used it first time you know first couple of months but right now it's not the best you know but it's not worse too i like it i don't love it but i like it i i do use it you know from time to time i do use it with my other dewy concealers it looks beautiful it's a concealer that i mix with my other concealers and yeah i'm good to go so you can definitely go ahead and purchase this concealer if you have a very dewy concealer and you want to have that balanced sort of a concealer you know like a cocktail <laughs> you can use this concealer uh, with your other you know dewy concealers so I don't have any powder from NYB. Yeah, I don't. I, I believe I don't have any powder from NYB. So yeah, I did not use any powder today. Uh, now let's come into bronzers and blush and all of that. So for bronzers, actually, NYB doesn't have, a, you know, their bronzer line or, you know, a dedicated bronzer powders. But they do have foundations that are a little bit on the darker side. So I use them on the, as a bronzer. So this, I have been using it for quite some time. I think it's time for me to throw this one out, but I like it. I have been using it for quite some time. So this is the NYB stick foundation and this is in the shade Toast. Now this is a very very beautiful bronzer for me, a cream bronzer I would say. It's definitely not supposed to be a bronzer, it's like a stick foundation. But for foundation it's, it's not good, for a bronzer it's amazing. 
now i love the shade of this bronzer it's very neutral tone it's not too warm it's not too cool tone it's going to suit a lot in a variety of medium skin tones and yeah the consistency is really good it blends into the skin really nicely it gives a very nice natural shadow on your cheeks uh, warms up your cheeks a little bit and yeah it just it's a good good bronzer that i have been using for quite some time and yeah it's for the price i do feel like you can totally go for this if you're looking for a nice cream bronzer you can totally go for this one now coming into blush my favorite part of or my favorite product from nyb has to be their blushes i feel like they nailed the formula of these blushes be it the powder blush be it the liquid blush the liquid blush i'm telling you guys if you haven't tried the liquid blush from nyb I think you need to try it, especially for the price. The price is only 249 rupees and NYB is again always on sale on purple. So you can get it at like maybe 199, 200 rupees. I just think that you guys should definitely try it out. It looks super, super, super natural on the skin. Like it's extremely natural. It is one of my like the least expensive or least, least, least. These blushes are one of my most affordable blushes that I have in my collection. And you guys know I'm down for all cream blushes. I love, love, love testing out cream blushes. But these ones have been my favorite. It doesn't matter if I have high-end blushes. It doesn't matter if I'm using extremely affordable. These blushes are just good, you know. They are just good. It's not that they are good in the affordable category. They are just overall good blushes regardless of how much prices they have okay so yeah, yeah i absolutely love these blushes and i feel like you guys should try them out at least once i have the shade i have two shades actually i don't remember the shade but i love both the shades i use them all the time like i am stopping myself from using these blushes whenever i'm going out i'm like i have so many other blushes i need to use other blushes because i really do like this but yeah i definitely Definitely need to use some other blushes currently. So anyway, coming into the powder blush, I have two shades here, which is, uh, I hate when NYB doesn't, you know, uh, mention the blush shade at the back of their blush because they totally can, but they don't do that. But anyway, I have the orange shade one, which is like completely like neon orange. If you are into this sort of blush, you are going to love it. This is, I feel like, very unique, unique shade to have in your blush. Uh, and it's, I feel like it's really nice for NYB to come out with unique shades because I don't have this sort of blush. So I like to keep it in my collection for someday when I'll use it. Anyway, so this is the blush that I normally do use. And this shade, honestly, it's beautiful. It's like a mauve nude blush. And I absolutely love this. This is such a such a beautiful color and i feel like you cannot go wrong with this color you know even though you don't like nude blushes you don't like pink blushes i i am someone i don't like pink blushes but this one this one is my perfect pink blush without having that too much of a neon pink in your face the formula of these blushes are exceptionally good for the price i feel like they are like some of the high-end blushes that i use from time to time so i just think that you know you can totally go ahead and get these blushes be it the liquid one be it the powder one i feel like both are amazing and yeah i absolutely love the powder ones as well so for my eyes actually i went in with the blush itself I did not use any eyeshadow for today. So I do have the NYB eyeshadow palette and I feel like they are very much on the okay side. Uh, they aren't that great. They aren't something that I would recommend to you guys. I mean, they aren't bad eyeshadows in any way. It's not patchy, but I, for some reason, I honestly do not like it that much. And yeah, I just feel like it's not that great i feel like mars eyeshadows are much much better in formulation than the nyb one i feel like you can totally skip the nyb ones uh you know in the eyeshadow department i do think that they can come up with great formulations this one is not the best i love the color palette the gray color palette is i'm totally in for a gray eyeshadow because you guys know i'm always into warm tones but honestly when i look at this i I know the formulation is not that great, so I tend to not use it that much. Sometimes I'll use it, obviously, but most times I don't use it. 
to be very honest so i feel like you can skip this there are a few shades that are amazing in this one but most of them aren't that great so yeah definitely in the eyeshadow department i don't know i, I wouldn't recommend this now i had to talk about the sponges from ny bay i had the purple one and i had a blue one or like a sea green one as well but i don't know where i kept it okay i have it right there oh, i'm so sorry i just kept it there the whole time and i was i was searching my whole room because i forgot where i kept the ny bay sponge and i use a different sponge today so anyway so this is the purple one and this is a very very dirty one but this is the green one if you can see the color uh, so I feel like the purple one is really not good at all please do not spend your money on it because it's very hard very very hard like extremely hard and if you blend your foundation with this one it's going to definitely turn out to be very patchy but the sea green one or the green one is actually good i love the shape of it as well you can do the baking thing i'm not going to put this on my face because it's been sitting there i don't know for how long so this one actually is quite good i love it i i i really do like it i used to use it a lot but then uh it's it's as i said it's been sitting here and i forgot that it was there the whole time so yeah but this is extremely squishy and it's very very soft and it's very easy to blend out your foundation your concealer with this uh sponge yeah this sponge i'm sorry if i cannot get my words out of my mouth i'm sorry uh but yeah i really do like it i think that you can totally spend your money on the green one but do not get the purple one the purple one isn't good so now coming into eyeliners i think so eyeliner and the blushes take the cake because i feel like these are beautiful i love the love 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 the colors that they have launched recently i love the formulation but especially the colors the colors are so unique whenever i see them sitting in my vanity i'm like yeah i i want to do a look with them i'm excited to use them you know makeup is something that it should excite you whenever you see them sitting on your vanity you're like yeah i want to use it i want to use you so whenever i see these eyeliners i feel the same i feel like using them all the time and in the last couple of videos i think you might have seen me use them so many times i am totally in love with this eyeliners i love the lilac shade i love the teal shade i have the teal shade by the way i love their basic uh, you know eyeliners i mean the brown the green but the colors that they recently came out with the uh, the lilac they have a gray as well i'm excited to try that one out i'll place my order tonight so I feel like these are beautiful. The colors are pigmented. The you know formulation is very good. For the price that you are paying, I feel like you should totally snatch these up. And I, I just love these eyeliners. I don't know what else to talk about, but yeah, I absolutely love them. So the next thing we have here is the NY Bay I Love Mascara. Now this one actually first when I use it, I said I did not like it which is very true i did not like it at first but as the time goes on you know mascaras tend to be much more better now i feel like this mascara is quite good so give it like a month or so and then this mascara is going to turn out to be good so yeah when i was using it today i think i really like it you know i used it yesterday as well and i was like huh the formulation of this mascara changed because when i first used it i initially applied it and i was like this mascara is too runny the formulation is too liquid uh so it's not really you know making my lashes volume it's not giving me any volume it's not giving any length to my lashes so i feel like it's not a mascara that i would recommend but now now i look at my lashes and i'm like it's really good i mean it's not the best obviously i love my essence mascara but it's not bad i would say it's a mascara that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis on you know everyday basis and you are good to go it does give you a little bit of something uh but yeah it's definitely not my favorite mascara still now uh but yeah the formulation is not bad on this one so if you want to go ahead and purchase this then i feel like you can but give it a month or so and then i feel like you're going to like it so it's a very tricky product. I don't know if you want to use this, but that's my experience of using this mascara. I feel like you can use this on a day-to-day -day basis. 
now coming into lips i do have few lip liners from them from uh nyb i feel like the lip liners are quite good they are wooden pencils and they glide on really really nicely they are pigmented 100 percent pigmented the only thing is i feel like the uh, shade that you see online is not the shade that you get every time i buy a nyb lip liner the shade that i see i'm like wow this is going to be a really nice dark brown toned lip liner but the one that i get you know delivered is something that's completely very light so just look up for swatches on the internet before purchasing the lip liners because the way the the shade that you see online is not the shade that you're going to get it's much lighter in person but the lip liners the formulation is it's very good is it my favorite lip liner i feel like it's a good lip liner but Swiss Beauty will always be my favorite affordable lip liner and these are good as well. Uh, they do have a variety of lip liners but yeah if you compare them with the Swiss Beauty I feel like the Swiss Beauty one wins here but if you ask me if I would recommend this lip liner to you guys I would totally say yes <laughs> because these are good. Now coming into two lipsticks that I have here uh, quickly because it's, it's it's a very long video i feel like so the nyb liquid lipsticks they are good they are non-transfer they do not transfer they sit on your lips really nicely uh they can be a little bit on the drying side depending on uh, you know if you like that kind of a little bit on the, the drying lipstick but that doesn't transfer it's like a very normal liquid lipstick there is nothing to you know too unique about the formulation i would say it's a very like borderline it's it's an okay lipstick for the price i love the color that they have the shades are beautiful but as a whole the lipsticks are just okay the lip tint however the lip tint it's not good it turned my lips into this patchy mess um i do not like the lip tint at all i feel like the blue heaven lip tint is so 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 much better than this one it does look good when i swatch it but on my lips it's like sinks into the patches it looks very patchy it looks too much it doesn't look natural and yeah i just don't like it it's not it's not for me the lip tint i was like quite disappointed in it because it's absolutely garbage i feel like for me personally again for me personally did not enjoy this at all however however i my most favorite lipstick regardless that it's nyb or not i love the nyb 5 in 1 lipstick i have talked about this lipstick so many times on my channel and i'll still talk about it i absolutely love this i feel like the shades of nudes that they have in here they are going to suit variety of skin tone fair medium dark uh, i love 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 the shade as you can see it's gone it's almost gone this shade is almost gone and this is the shade that i used here every time i use this lip li lipstick a lot of you guys always ask me in the comments what lipstick you have on because i feel like it does flatter my skin tone really really well it looks flattering on my skin tone so yeah i absolutely love 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 the lipstick a lot now coming into the ny bay gloss the gloss formulation is good it's very comfortable it is pigmented it does give you a little bit of a shine but it's not a very high shine gloss if you are thinking you're going to get a very high shine gloss this is not it but i love the formulation because you can just wear this reapply this throughout the day and you'll be good but yeah i just don't think that they are extremely extremely high they give you that high shine glass like lips glass like lips yeah but i feel like for the price and the formulation and everything they are quite good i did use the shade caramel cashew today on top of the lipstick and i do have the shade brown dates uh, yeah so both the shades are really good they do have quite amazing shades as well i'll have to give it to nyb for the shades because the shades are very good they do have a variety of shades so the last thing that i have from nyb from this brand is the setting spray i love this setting spray they definitely give a very nice finish to the makeup overall they do set my makeup they are very long lasting as well i have the matte variant and the dewy variant as well and they do not contain a lot of product though it's it's good for travel purposes i feel like but they have a very very strong scent to it like if you have sensitive skin do not put this near your face because i feel like you're going to break out i have talked about the scent several times here because i just think that the scent is too much it's overpowering sometimes and 
for someone who have normal skin when it comes to acne and flare ups because i normally do not get that much of acne whenever like touch wood but you know whenever i am um, you know using a lot of high fragrance products i do not get that much of acne so for me i did not experience the acne flare up after using this but i feel like because the scent is too much i feel like most people might have that issue so i am pointing it out but as a whole you know if you ask me about the formulation about how this product performs i feel like it's really really good except the fragrance part the setting sprays are really good and i would totally 100% travel with this setting sprays rather than using them on a day to day basis i would you know whenever i am traveling i would carry these setting sprays with me but not on a everyday basis ow my leg hurts because i have been sitting in the same position for like one hour straight so anyway that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys liked it and let me know if what is your favorite product from nyb or if there is something that i should try out from the brand that you absolutely maybe love and i haven't tried it out yet which i feel like i've tried a lot of their products it is which is why this video is 30 minutes long but anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i would love 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 to hear your thoughts about the brand anyway thank you so much for watching i love you guys a lot and i'll see you in my next one bye